Good evening. Welcome to That's Your Opinion. The issue tonight is prostitution. Should it or should it not be legalized? Letcher C. Ely II argues in favor. We have two prominent members of the Boston University who will argue against such legislation. Ralph H. Gross III and Lonzetta Bridget Chappelle. I'm Marcus Jones and I'll moderate tonight's debate. Now here's Letcher Ely. Uh, Bridget and Ralph, <clears throat> my major reason for wanting prostitution legalized is not because of the moral or ethical issues behind it, but the uh, strict economic ramifications. If it was go government controlled, you know, subsidized, taxed, whatever, we would have a much healthier uh, situation. We wouldn't have to worry about um, syphilis, gonorrhea being spread. We wouldn't have to worry about uh, prostitutes getting beat by pimps or uh, unsafe resource like that. We know prostitution exists. It's going to exist. It's the oldest profession. What more can you say? Well, I think, Lecture, that making it legal will cause more hassles than it will solve. Right now, having it illegal, it shows that it's easier, maybe with a couple of more laws to stamp it out than to let it flourish. You said that it will stop beating, it will stop VD. That's, I think, is um, very idealistic. Who's going to regulate the prostitutes coming in and getting checked up? Are they going to have ID cards? But can ID cards be copied and passed among friends? Who are going to be the pimps? Are they going to be special licensed people? Or people who have special training in pimping? Or people certified by the government? Who is going to say, well, maybe help me out, Ralph. Uh, I'm sorry, Ledger. I too must agree with Bridget. I think the idea of legal, legalized uh, prostitution, excuse me, is utterly ludicrous. There's no way the government can regulate prostitution. It's like opening up in a Pandora's box. And once you legalize prostitution, I think you've opened yourself up to a number and a host of other problems which the government in no way can solve. Our first mistake here as uh, American society is we look at prostitution as being a, a criminal offense. Uh, before I go on, do you both see it as a criminal offense? It's yeah. more like a moral offense as opposed to a criminal offense. Okay, our laws are not meant to be moralistic, ethical. They're meant to protect people from uh, unduly harm, uh, uh, injury to their body, their property, things like that. If you see prostitution as or in sexual intercourse for, for pay as being harmful, deleterious to a person's uh, self-being, I think uh, you're kind of naive. Uh, the ramifications of prostitution might be uh, poor neighborhoods or, or seedy uh, bars and, and hotels or whatever. Government intervention can clean all this up. Uh, you posed the question before of who are going to be the pimps? Are they going to be, uh, you know, trained by uh, the government? Uh, we we wouldn't need pimps, um, social workers, uh, people who have worked with. Maybe you around. maybe U.S. senators can be pimps or representatives, something like that. Uh, there's no need to be uh, sarcastic or sardonic. I'm just you know merely stating a fact. Social workers are. Uh, you know, trained to deal with people, uh, society in general. But why are you going to, okay, you're making it a business. So you're saying that prostitutes have to go to social workers. You're saying that they are different and unique business from everybody else. Why do they have to go to social workers? Why can't they have their own agencies to establish? Uh, when I said they'll go to their own agency, I'm saying they will be managed and controlled, managed by people who are trained, uh, as you might say, as um socialized pimps. But these people, they're going to go to school and take a special course on how to handle the local prostitutes? If that's what is needed, that's what will be done. It works in other countries. It works here in America. Nevada, but, for example. Let you, okay, let's get to other countries. A famous country is Korea. Even though prostitution is legalized, they have trouble with prostitute, prostitutes passing along their ID cards about verification. They still have problems. They have corruption in the government system at handling the prostitutes and where the money is going. Even though it's legalized, it is not the, quote, ideal system that you have in mind. As earlier you talked about neighborhoods, I think that with the prostitution, there is a trickle-down effect. Um, look at, look at um, pornographic movies. They're legalized in neighborhoods, but look at the effect that the, neighbor, the neighborhood has from the pornographic movies. 
I think areas that are designated for prostitution will have the same effect. And how are you going to designate these areas? And what are becoming of these areas? And how, how are you going to how are you going to stop the expansion of prostitution in areas where it's not supposed to belong? I think the very base and foul existence of prostitution in the areas that it is in now suggests that you can't have prostitution without having this this sort of environment flourish. Okay, um, I like to address Bridges uh, Bridges' statement first. Shakespeare once said, uh, the fault is not in the stars, it is in ourselves. Uh, we can't find fault with a program by saying that the people who run it are going to be, you know, cr corrupt or criminal. In your Korean example, if we propose some sort of planned legalized prostitution, we have to hope, I mean, you can call me idealistic if you want, that the people who run it will be fair, quote unquote, just and legal. Of course there's going to be breakdowns. This is America. This is a bureaucratic society. There's always breakdowns. Uh, Russia, if, if they had legalized prostitution, they would have problems. Uh, I foresee problems. Everyone foresees problems. You have problems with alcohol. You can get free alcohol. I mean, you can get bootleg alcohol and even cigarettes. There are going to be problems. You have to, enforce the, you have to enforce the laws that are laid down. What I'm saying is, by legalizing it, maybe we can somewhat, somehow clean it up. Uh, I'm not, I personally abhor the uh, idea of prostitution, but if there's an economic benefit or some sort of ramification that the government can reap benefits, I think it would be great. But let your, uh, may I finish, Bridget? Excuse okay. me. Uh, we have legalized gambling. Some people say that doesn't work. Uh, that's a misnomer. Gambling has, illegal gambling has decreased sizably. Uh, it hasn't taken out all of illegal gambling, but like I said, neither has legalizing liquor since, you know, Prohibition era. We have to hope that if we're going to institute some sort of prostitution legislation, that it'll be enforced. But, but is legalizing, <clears throat> just to get off the topic, is legalized ga legalizing gambling, the, its only uh, purpose was to defuse the need for illegal gambling. Um, has it, it it may have worked in that instance, but it was also legalized gambling is also supposed to work in terms of flourishing and making a community, you know, wholesome. It hasn't worked in that way either. And let's talk about your government regulation of prostitution. Yeah, isn't there, isn't there enough government in our lives now? Who wants more government in our lives? Uh, do also, you? Let you, I like to add, how are you going to regulate? Think of the ways you would have to regulate. First, you have to regulate the districts. Who could be a prostitute? What the minute do they get minimum wage, or do they get are there any set fee they should get for their hour? It'll cost uh, more wait, to regulate. Before you go on, before you go on, be worse. before you go on, that also is a misnomer. We neither one of us have any facts in front of us. We're going on basic logic. Uh, well, look at Social Security. Uh, that's, Social that's, Security that's is not default. analogous to the situation. But what I'm saying is... All track batting in New York has worked. I'm, it has it, generated funds. Um, and it, and the daily it, numbers has generated more revenue than it's been out. Government regulation I think it's proven does that, uh, not work. Legalized gambling has worked. Government regulation does not work. You oh, cannot so, regulate so we become, so we become the government. An, the an government the what gov are you saying? The but government cannot regulate a project of this nature. It's too big. I, it's too think, you, I think you underestimate... The powers of our government. We can uh, run a security force, uh, the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Uh, Army, Mil so Marines. We're talking about prostitution, Ledger. Um, I don't even think prostitution is quite on the same level as government. You have two people doing a natural act. Who's going to be there and say what she's supposed to perform, how she's supposed to perform it, and how, my point, how she's going to my give up? Exactly. Why, why, why is that illegal now? A game is different, Ledger. Why is you that illegal game, now? You could have the game set up. You have trained people who could... Excuse me, could you answer my, my question? What? Why is that illegal now? What is wrong with someone who has sex with someone else to get paid for that service? Uh, that's what I'm asking. And if we can somehow clean up that act... It's immoral. Uh, immorality and, and legality are not related. I'm sorry. Our laws are not, I, no, on, no, are no. not based on they, morals. They, they, our lives ideally, ideally are not based on morals. But let's face it, many of our laws find their roots in morality. Some do. But and you we can't, try to divorce ourselves. Ignore. You, you in try, the, uh, ideally, you try. Realistically, course. we don't. Realistically, we do in some laws and some laws we don't. Realistically, we don't. Okay, if that's, the, if that's the point, if, if you feel so strongly, or if America feels so strongly against um, prostitution, why does it flourish? Someone must be uh, 
demanding it. Uh, I'm talking about strict supply that's, and demand. There's a demand, there's going to be there, a supply. There are but many things in this society that we abhor. Drugs, crime, but they all flourish. Wait a minute, wait a because, minute. Simply crime because is not a demand and supply uh, uh, thing there. Now, wait a minute. We're talking about something that is a service that doesn't harm anyone. You people bring in the moral issue of uh, getting paid for sex. What's the difference between a prostitute who gets paid for a service and a female who has sex with a thousand men and doesn't ask for a quarter? Uh, what's the difference? Letcher, to kind of get off the point, I like to answer. Uh, could you answer that question, please? Said could you answer that question, no, listen, please? listen. You said, um, I think you said, why is there a demand? Because the man, the purchase, purchaser, is not considered, he is not considered doing a legal act. It is the prostitute. As long as the, the prostitute can go to jail, but the person who wants to do it does not. He can always find somebody to do it. And as long as there's customers who want this service, it will go on. If they should change the, would change the law and arrest the, quote, John, along with the prostitute, I think you will have find a, de a decrease in the amount of prostitution and the demand. He could get it. It's, they, we are, quote, our government is saying that it is all right for you to go out and get a prostitute, but it's wrong for you to prostitute yourself. Uh, that sounds um, very idealistic. That's not true. Our laws I think clearly that, state that people who solicit and people who uh, try to pick up prostitutes or try to uh, buy prostitutes are in fact breaking the law uh it just so happens that they don't they don't enforce it now what i'm saying is if you have a law you have to enforce it legalize prostitution clean it up get some uh, government revenues taxes tax the people that might deter prostitution more than uh you know you know making it uh, illegal how are you gonna okay. tax it how are you gonna have somebody in there seeing eat just like with waitressing and waitering waitering there's no one there who knows how much that person gets in tips. He can lie. It's the same with prostitution. Uh, Who's going to count? How, well, you can have a government inspector inside the, inside the building, inside the room, saying how many customers this woman gets, how much again, she gets we've gone, for, Once again, we've gone from the general for. to the specific. We're talking about a very broad but issue. But if you're going to make it legal, you have to get to the You have specific. to look at some very It's specific easy to specific. say uh, ideas we, of how we don't have it's the time. Easy we don't to have say it's illegal and to cut it out than to say it's legal and make the rules. I'm just asking you to tell me why you feel that it should be illegal and why it shouldn't be legalized. I mean, I haven't heard a, a, a adequate or a credible answer yet. I, I, my basic view is prostitution is immoral. It can't be controlled. It cannot be controlled. I and, disagree. And the influx of an evil something that is uh, evil. That is and your own subjective uh, opinion. Uh, what is now the name of this show? That's, uh, what, I'm that's saying my, is what is the name of this show? It's called... Then, it's, okay, then. I have the right to... Uh, you know, Wait a minute. We're talking about a legal issue. Now, you have an opinion to say something should be illegal or, or legal. And, I, you, and I, you you saw, I also have the right to say my opinion on whether it's, it's righteous or you evil. Say all, our, all our laws should be morally uh, inclined, and that's not true. Well, no. You're, you're kind of well, stretching. You have more No, basis. they don't. But, well, but, getting, more basic. but getting back to what I was saying, the point I'm trying to make is that to allow something of this nature which we cannot control which will inevitably it, what, what I'm saying is many of the underground forces that control prostitution now were it to be legalized would be in complete control of it despite any attempt at government regulation and if we allow these forces that control prostitution now as it is these forces will only serve to grow flourish and, and all types of things will be in our community things over which we have no control things over which we don't want to legalize hard drugs um, disease. You haven't said anything about venereal disease. The I did say you, it. If you, you uh, check you, the record, I did mention gonorrhea and syphilis. Okay, in the okay. Of my you, argument. You, you did. Okay, let's say I you think did. That would be controlled uh, by monthly you, or weekly inspections of the prostitute. You also happen to know that uh, venereal disease is the number one ep epidemic in this country now. And the, to allow prostitution to be legalized is only going to add to that problem before we can do anything to solve it. And also, let you, who's going to step forth and say that they're a legal prostitute? How we know? There's the girls who are going to come to the government office, say I want to be a prostitute, get their card or whatever. But there's also girls who could easily still stand on the street corner. What are you going to do? Arrest those, those girls? Those people should be arrested. They are, and they would clearly be breaking the law. They're not going by government standards. Those people should be arrested. That's but what give, I'm saying. What are government standards? What are the government I'm standards? I'm telling you, we can't sit point? here and, how can and, you and possibly, write legislation. How can you possibly that, um, even... It's not called that's your referendum. How can you possibly even condone something that you don't even, you don't even like? You yourself said you abhor it. You don't like it. 
I, I'm How not, can you I'm condone not it? About it. I'm, I'm not looking at it from a moral standpoint. I'm looking at it, like I said. From Do you honestly believe prostitution can be controlled, regulated? Anything can Efficiently. be controlled. Efficiently. Anything can be controlled. Anything no, can be controlled. Anything cannot be controlled. Why do we have laws? Why do we have legal, a w- a legal way For of life? For the same law, we have illegal them. prostitution, and why isn't that law working? Uh, that was a very weak response. I'd like you to elaborate, please. You said that nothing can be controlled, and that why do we have laws to put things in control? We I said that in reference to what you were saying. You, were saying. you said nothing can be controlled. I said, why do we have laws, and why do we have a legal way of life, or uh, quote-unquote legal way of life? Uh, if we were to go by your uh, your standards uh hey why why not uh, you know say it's legal to kill someone if they steal your apples off your tree john locke in society what are you saying uh, let your elite let me ask you a question uh, prostitution is referred to as the world's oldest profession okay if it is in fact the world's oldest profession why has it never been legal uh, I think you should check it on a whole scale, on a, on a large oh, scale. There are some countries where prostitution is legal. Legal now, it has legal, legal it's now. Been but why? Why? Quote, unquote, okay, the world prostitution. Harems, prostitution uh, is known the world over. Why doesn't the entire world condone prostitution? Why hasn't the Why hasn't societies all over the world since the beginning of time condoned prostitution? If it is known to man, if it has been around since the beginning of time, why has it never been condoned on a large scale? It has been condoned on a large scale. It depends on the societies. We're talking, about, we're talking about... Uh, was it condoned in the Roman Empire? Uh, I'm not, no. I am not a no. Roman uh, it wasn't. history it major. Wasn't. Was, was it condoned in the, in the time of Alexander the Great? No, it wasn't. Was it ever condoned uh, in me. the Middle Ages? No, it your, wasn't. Are these supposed to be your atypical uh, societies? I mean, because uh, all no. of those societies were, were ended up being ruined. I mean, maybe they should have had legalized prostitution. Maybe the morals were so uh, low that they needed some sort of... But the fringes, fact uh, is, but the fact is, uh, legalized prostitution or legalized pro- or not legalizing prostitution was not the basis for the... Um, destruction uh, of I didn't say societies. That. Exactly my point. Uh, you're, you're making it sound like if we legalize prostitution, uh, America is in ruins. Uh, the Russians are going to come and kill us while everyone's uh, screwing in a, a whorehouse. Uh, what are you saying? I don't understand. Let you want to get back to, to the, to the uh, alternative I propose as making the, cl- the client, the customer, go to jail just like the prostitute herself. And I think in some states, they, there was a uh, study done where they printed the name of each guy who went to the prostitute in the paper, in the in the um, crime section, and prostitution went down a little. To follow Ralph's line of thinking, uh, if that works so much, why don't they do it? Because the people who do probably um, uh, acquire the services of prostitutes are uh, might be your prominent people, and they're not going to let that happen to them. I mean, come on, what are you saying? And they're the same people who are going to make it legal where they could be seen going into a... a Maybe, like I said, that would deter it. Maybe that would deter it. Maybe you need some conservatives to come in here and say, well, bam, I think the way to, to, to cut out prostitution is to make it legal. First of all, it won't have the... Uh, that that uh, atmosphere, that uh, je ne sais quoi, that, uh, you know, you're going to a, a prostitute, you know, behind the dark alley, you know. A, a lot of the, the things that were bad with prohibition is that people thought it was chic, you know, to drink, you know, illegal alcohol. Uh, somewhat the, the way it is today with uh, pot, marijuana, smack, you know, people are like, oh, it's illegal, it's cool, yeah, let's go get this joint, you know. Make it legal and it won't have that glamour, it won't have that, you know, what people think. And maybe that would deter it. Maybe people will say, well, 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 damn, you know. But let your people still drink alcohol. And how do you know? Alcohol is legal, too. It is encouraged too. people to come into the business, and you have new companies. But with prostitution, also, it might. do you think it might become more widespread? Now that uh, it's an acceptable profession? It might become Now more that an unskilled girl or a man could, does it, could enter this field and become their life career? It might become widespread. Uh, like I said, once again, we're looking at it. Oh, excuse me, not we. Now what about the short term? Looking, you two, uh, could I answer the question, please? Uh, give me at least some time to say something in this uh, conversation. You're wasting time. Thank you. Uh, as you said before, uh, you know, maybe it would become more widespread. But like I said, maybe we clean it up. Maybe if, it, maybe if it's done with a little more uh, compassion for the clients and the the uh, the people who are serving, maybe it might be a little more beneficial to everyone around who's involved. The government can make their slice of the pie. The people who are are, are using the services 
won't have to worry about, uh, you know, maybe getting their head split in. Uh, maybe the prostitutes won't have to worry about being ripped off. They don't have to worry about getting beat up by John. Uh, the, the key, the key to that is uh, maybe an if. Uh, life is, is maybe not, an if. Life is, is maybe an if. I'm sorry, but I mean, no, I, I think we have a biased studio audience here. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you know, aside from that you know, point, aside though. from that point, the point I'm trying to make is that you bring up a lot of maybe and ifs okay. that, that 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 you were you were proposing is somehow going to make you know legalizing uh, prostitution is somehow going to make our lives better and the lives of those who choose to you know engage themselves in this particular profession maybe better. better roles. But the, but maybe the point I'm trying to make is maybe that you is, is that Tom is that your maybe your maybe's are just really NBA. really big maybes and who's to say that what you say uh, is going to work at all anyway. Oh, uh, like you said, it's my opinion. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm just expressing an opinion. And I'm saying, based on logical reasoning, that if you have something and, and you um, have government intervention with, with a project like this, you know, having government control, not control, but, you know, like a, a utility. Uh, but my uh, point, how is the government going to control it? How uh, are we you can't go into the idiosyncrasies right now, but I'm, I'm giving you a broad overview. As, as, but as you're giving me the babies that will occur. Ball. Give okay. me how you're going to regulate this so the thing I, won't happen. Okay, we'll, we'll discuss that later on. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Unless you as usual, your long windedness long windedness amazes me and your ability to dodge the issue. But uh, I have a what question issue, for you. Bro? I have a question for you. Uh, how do you think legalized gambling will affect the black community? How does legalized gambling affect the black community? How would it? How would it? Uh, well, more people hit the numbers now. I mean, what do you want? I mean, supposedly, the way it works... Uh, Don't you think it would further to, uh, to destroy already, you know, kind of... Wait a minute. Bad? It's up to the government to make sure a person has the right to choose. Now, when the government regulates what is right and what is wrong, in a sense where a person should have the right to choose, uh, you're saying you're already assessing that, bam, gambling is an evil. We, the government, say that you shouldn't have the right to gamble. So if you can't stamp Can it out, regulate it, huh? Excuse me? So if you can't stamp it out, regulate it, that's your model? Uh, no, you not, fight him, join him, right? not at all. Like I said, you once again, you're assessing quote-unquote moral ideals or something you think is wrong. I, now, I hate to interject here, uh, people, but uh, exactly what relevance does this have to the issue of prostitution? Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering that myself. What I'm saying is that, you know, when you look at black communities now, looking at the Roxbury, Dorchester area, where, you know, things like black, you know, things like prostitution, um, gambling, and crime, things that I, are all kind of sort of interwoven and interlinked, were you to interject the concept of legalized prostitution into an environment such as that with, I think, no possible way of, of regulating it, it would only further serve to worsen an already bad condition and a bad environment. I think that our children would grow up with a very negative sense about themselves, uh, a more negative sense about themselves, and, and only serve to destroy, further destroy our black communities. And um, I think, you know, for that reason, if none other, then legalized gambling has no place in our society. I mean, legalized prostitution. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying it. I don't know. Maybe you're a gambler. But no, uh, <laughs> getting back to the original issue, uh, legalized prostitution, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it is a, a bad force, but maybe it isn't. I'm just saying the person should have the right to choose whether he wants to go out here and pay for some $25. But if, given the state of the condition of our communities now, how can you take such a chance on a, such a big maybe? What are you so worried about with legalized prostitution? I, what do, you, do you see it as the uh, the major reason for the uh, Look at all major the decline in uh, morals or something? I mean, yeah, yeah. And I think we I think states, the major we decline have in morals in Texas fighting because they're going to lose seats. I, I think that's more. I think that's highly moral. I, I, I think the major. I think a, a a major decline in morality is one of the things wrong with society today. The fact that people don't have a good sense of right and wrong. But getting back to prostitution, if for, if for oh, no so other reason, enforce, you're gonna you're gonna enforce your ideals of right and wrong 
and not give the, per, uh, the the citizen the choice to choose. Well, obviously, I'm not enforcing my ideas of right and wrong on anybody. What I'm saying is, if you're, if you're in favor, if you're in favor, obviously, if you're, obviously, if you're, excuse me, if you're in favor of uh, trying to strengthen or not legalize prostitution, you are in favor of taking away uh, what could be uh, an inalienable right of a United States citizen. Well, obviously, um, my sense of what is right and wrong is the prevailing sense of what is right and wrong in this country, seeing as how there's, there's no such thing as legalized prostitution. When you say, uh, except in Nevada, except in Nevada. Okay, that's, that's somewhat correct. Correct. You're right. That's somewhat correct. You're right. It's correct. But that doesn't mean that just because there isn't legalized prostitution, that doesn't mean that people don't want legalized prostitution. I can't even see why we're debating. This point makes no sense. There's no such thing. I'm I, telling you. I'm okay. telling you. What I'm saying You're is... You're crazy. You are mad. You have no sense. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait a minute. Let's I'm stick sorry to, to be attacking you. Let's <laughs> get to the issue. I'm took, I took a point and I'm going to defend it. And like I said, I am personally against prostitution. But I'm not against the right for someone. Against making money. Right. Exactly. Maybe, maybe you see something immoral in trying to so make money. So anything to make money. Well, if we can take something that I feel is harmless, like I said, what is wrong with someone having sex and getting paid for it? Uh, you take a girl out, take her to dinner for twenty-five dollars, and take her home, and you expect some sex. <laughs> Do you think she's? I have to disagree Do you think with she's that one. Herself? Do you think she's prostituting herself? I think I have to disagree with that one. The only way she's prostituting is if it's your mind. You think you're paying for something that is your right. I say it is not your right. Can't you go out and enjoy somebody's company? Some girls think that. Some guys think that. Some Does that make it right? I'm not talking about what's right and wrong right now. No, but you said that. What? What? what wait. I'm just saying some girls think that they owe it to a guy if they if he spends some money on them to give up, you know. Show me that girl who thinks she owes it. Hey, let's go to War Towers. Let's go to Towers. Let's go to West Campus. I'm sure there's some there. I think it has nothing to do with the org. I think it has nothing to do with the I think you'll be a marked man. Uh, I think that is a totally sexist argument. Oh, and let's get back on. to the main point. Should prostitution argument? be legalized or not? I, I said yes from the, 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 the economic ramifications which could be reaped. Let's get to the economical ramifications. Okay, let's, let's get to at, the legal let's ramifications. Look at the let's look at a graph. Do you have a graph here? No. Uh, I don't think the people can see it there, but if you, if you see on the blackboard what I'm getting ready to write. Let's get serious, Letcher. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I'm, I am serious. Will you let me make a point? I'm sure I'm telling you. No. If we could, if we could legalize prostitution, okay, uh, have it not government not government managed, but government regulated, like our uh, utilities. But, Letcher, it's a utilitarian idea. How are you going to... Okay? It's, it's, it's hard to regulate it. Well, are you Somebody people afraid you gonna regulate people's people sex afraid? lives? Are you, you going to regulate their self, self, sex lives? Are we going to have control? Something. Are we going to have let deregulation let control? Are we going to have something. price wars? Are we going to have when black market? Have, let me tell you something. When you have uh, illegal prostitution, you are, in effect, regulating someone's sex life. If he wants to buy, you know, some $25 panties, you know? I mean, you are in effect, you know, saying, "Bam, this is my idea." I'm telling you, if if you could get, if you get people to think and see the the money that could be made, of course, like you said, with the uh, legalized gambling, it took a long time before people had to had to push away that moral. Uh, uh, it's not right to gamble. While the Catholics but, are in our church playing bingo for yeah, cash, but, yeah, but, yeah, but they look, go at, to the look, at, look at look at the instances of legalized gambling and, and the things that it was supposed to accomplish and the things that it has come. Okay, look at Atlantic City. It was supposed to turn that city around financially. It was supposed to provide that city with a, a big shot in the arm. Such things haven't happened. That's an ideal, an ideal that doesn't work. Trying to make a, trying to take a wrong, a moral wrong, and and wait a make minute, something wait a minute. right, I, I, make something I have good come out. Your and Bridget's constant. Uh, I have not once said more. Mor <laughs> well, you are in effect a moralist. I'm yeah. saying that th it's, 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 your, it's impractical your, to uh, legalize. It's not it. impractical. If it's impractical to legalize it, why is it practical no, 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 to have you, it you, illegal? You know why? You know I why? I, I agree with Bridget. Um, it's a little hard to debate with you because you keep you we, we keep trying to pin you down on some specifics. Like how are you going to control you know venereal disease amongst these people? How are you going to provide for their safety? And you keep saying that you know well we can't get to we're talking about no, a general I, I idea. Did say, I did say. I did so, say. So let's talk about some specifics. Okay. Wait, give me, let give me five will, minutes and I'll, and I'll give let you. you let's we'll see. Prime prime example. Give me five minutes. I'll give let you prime directly. So one of your prime examples. A country where it's now legalized. Let's take Korea. Let's not take Korea. Come on, let's go to a different country. Let's take Sweden. 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 Let's
Legal, legalization has done nothing but they made it more visible. Disease. They still kill uh, people for adultery and uh, uh, Islam. Let's, what do you want? Let's okay. talk about Sweden, where they have the highest suicide rate in the world. Okay, I okay. see how that directly okay. correlates with uh, uh, legal prostitution. No, right? no, but what I'm saying in, in, a, in a society where people have so many choices and everything is free and easy. Um, free and easy? What are you talking about? I think you have to pay for it. That's why it's prostitution. Come on, nothing's free here. If it was easy, they wouldn't be paying for it. If I can have quiet, please, Lester, I don't, I really believe that this is not a thought, a well thought out uh, uh, argument. I, I really just think that <laughs> in true to form that you just come up with opinion. <laughs> And it's and spent more than that's a half an hour arguing something that you are you yourself admittedly no. don't believe it. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute, okay wait a minute. maybe you do believe in it from an economic standpoint. Wait but the minute. thing I'm trying to say is that wait a minute. Can okay, I, can you haven't thing? gotten to anything can I, can I specific. Ask you a question. Okay, this is going to be um, Upper Slobovia. We're going to have an uh, example here. Speak English, please. Okay, we're in Upper uh, Arlington, Maine. A society where prostitution is rampant illegally. The government comes in, legalizes it. First thing they do is they arrest anyone who is a pimp. Or they make it illegal for pimps as we now know them to exist. Instead, anyone who wants to practice prostitution as a profession has to work out of special clinics. Uh, uh, what we might call now a sex surrogates, Masters and Johnson, for example. Um, prostitutes work directly out of there. There they are checked daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it need, whatever it need be. Prices are fixed on, um, as always, uh, I'm sure both of you have taken... I'm market right? I'm sure you... <laughs> Supply I'm, and demand, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm sure you've all, we've all taken the economics courses here, BUEC 101, 100, whatever. Who gets uh, the money? The money goes directly... When you go to a masseuse, the when you go to a masseuse, uh, have you ever been to a masseuse? No. Okay. <laughs> if you go to a masseuse, you I'll don't never pay. tell. <laughs> you never pay. This is my father's gym. You never pay the masseuse. You pay the people you know who are in charge. Like I said before, social workers train people who will be able to um, you know make sure that everything is strict and above board. You get paid at uh, the front desk. You go to a hospital. Do you pay your doctor? Think about it. Yes. Well, you don't. You, you don't pay, pay your, your doctor, doctor directly. Plus, you pay. That's only a private pay. You go to a hospital. You pay the hospital. You don't pay the doctor. Uh, okay. Let's okay, continue. What about the woman who wants to go in business for herself? She can't make it illegal. That is illegal. You have to work under regular. If you want to get, uh, well, if, you want to get electric, if you want to get electricity from Frank and Joe's electric company, you can't do it. It's illegal. You have to work on um, who's selling electricity in your I town. I think, no, hold, hold, It's a utility, hold, that's what hold, I said before. Hold up, hold up. Not, not all utilities. Not all utilities are like that. Okay, not all, but I'm using but, it as, a, as a utilities. Okay, well, for the sake of argument, we'll stick I mean, with we what you can, said. So. There's, there's only one AT&T. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay. But there's also Sprint in, in my... In, and in they all work off of an AT&T line, so that's an invalid argument. Let me finish my point, okay? Um, thank you, uh, audience. But so why can't a wo woman work singular outside uh, of the clinic? On, Will you just let me, uh, you know, finish my point? Okay. Like I said... Find it. It's at the top of your head. Wait a minute. <laughs> you pinhead. Uh, no. Like I said before, you pay. <laughs> you <laughs> With the audience, please give me that. No. Uh, no, what I'm saying is, okay, you keep a record of who is used the most. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let me rephrase that. You keep a record of who... Are you going to say something, Marcus? I think I ought to interject here. Uh, we keep referring to a studio audience. Uh, I think we're going to let people know that there is a studio audience here, and we're going to give them a chance to speak right after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, this is Bridget, and I would like to clarify myself, but I'd like to say this. Let your, you never answered my original point. What do you think about the alternative making the customers of prostitution serve time or some get some kind of sort of punishment just like the prostitutes themselves as opposed to putting government regulations legalizing it and going into a, no, a new network of red tape the question here is not for the deterrence of legal of prostitution but for whether there should be legalized prostitution or not but uh, Letcher, one of your ar arguments for legalized prostitution you said that it would be a deterrent I didn't say I said might be a deterrent. Uh, if you uh, check the record, that's what I said. Go ahead. Okay, I uh, I'd like to finish the um, the example I started with before. Uh, before you said that, well, to clarify, you said that um you pay your doctor. Now that's not necessarily true. In the uh, situation I had um related earlier, I said if you um used a a, uh, a certain uh, surrogate, sex surrogate, she would be uh, recorded as uh, providing a service. She would be paid in weekly wages. Uh, you know, it's sort of, if you excuse the expression, piecemeal work. You get out what you put in. Okay, uh, no pun intended. But that's what I'm saying. And as Ralph was getting ready to um, state the last time, it would work on a a strictly supply and demand uh, a function, whereas your taste, you know, if you want a blonde or uh, if you like a, a black girl or whatever, that's what you'd pay for. You'd have a, um, the choice to um, select out of the possibly many uh, servants <laughs> or people who would be available and you, you know, do your thing. Pay at the, um, pay at the door since it's not something you can eat in most cases, you'd be taxed for it, okay? Uh, let me say, it's not edible, or it's not something you sell at a grocery store. I think we got the point. Okay. And uh, taxes, revenue, the revenue would be um, uh, generated in such a manner. Taxes would pay for uh, things like social aid. Well, first of all... What about benefits, retirement? They do have a short say, career. I was, getting, I was getting ready to say, um, you have um, things like that set up. Uh, there would be a rank and file uh, after you've performed your service as a quote-unquote prostitute, sex surrogate. Uh, you can move up into the managerial stage, administration. And, you know, because these people have... Um, you're joking, right? I'm not joking at all. And I think you left that one point. You keep saying she, she, she. Uh, also he. Well, uh, and like, what about like ages? most people, I'm socialized. I'm socialized to think of most prostitutes as female. I'm sorry, uh, it's a mistake. And what about age? Female. What age would a prostitution begin? No. Uh, what is the age of uh, consent for adults in uh, states? I mean, come on. We're talking about. Uh, I'm not taking away the fact that this is a sexual act. I'm saying it is a sexual act, but it's something that can that goes on between two consenting adults. You know, there's not harmful injuries such as you know two consulting adults might want to go out in uh, you know Roxbury and blow each other's brains up, but that in effect is illegal. Sex is not an illegal act. Uh, how do you propose to um, curb and you know deter the further the, the further spread of venereal disease once uh, you make you know prostitution legalized? Like I said. Um, First off, um, prostitution is not the major uh, reason for um, the spread of uh, gonorrhea and syphilis. But you do admit it probably would contribute. It to, uh, contributes. And I'm saying constant control of, um, of health standards. Uh, it's just like with a, a restaurant. If you have certain health standards, they're there to make sure people don't get sick from eating. But let you, here. you take into account that every woman who prostitutes is going to do it legally. You're saying... You're, you're, I you have this umbrella effect that once you make this law legal, every woman's going to do it legally. I said there's going to be some women want to do it legally. Some women don't want to go through the hassle of working out of a okay, you a know, office building. So often when people um, address an argument in a de debatory situation like this, they more often than not always express, you know, you know what isn't the rule. But, you know, with the exception, of course you're going to have exceptions. You have to curb exceptions. You have people who sell food illegally. I mean, they don't, they're not out there every day trying to stop it, but I'm sure if they could, they would. I'm saying we have to go on the assumption that if we legalize prostitution, women will see that it's more beneficial to them 
to work in an environment that's cleaner, safer, more secure. They don't have to worry about being whipped, beat, or whatever by their pimps, as you people um, have put it before. Uh, I'm saying it'll be much better around for everyone else involved. But don't you see that the 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 danger in ignoring the exception? Uh, I I happen to believe. I agree. I agree. I happen but to, I happen the to rules, believe laws that the, are not made for the exceptions; they're made for the the general populace. But I happen to believe that in ignoring the exception, you're you're actually ignoring what is going to be the rule. Oh, uh, that's your assumption, and I'm not saying I'm I'm saying that won't happen. I'm saying if we can make it, if you make it attractive to the person he or she who wants to go into a, a sex surrogate business. They'll, they'll see that it's better for them to do it. Uh, the benefits will have to be better. Fletcher, what about the fact that prostitution is illegal now and people are doing it? That's the general rule, right? Uh -huh. So you're talking about general rules about it's not going to happen. Ever. What about you making it legal? There's still going to be people who do it. Illegal. I, I I agree, but I'm saying that has to be curbed. We're not talking about how you're going to curb well, we're not curbing prostitution. It. But wh I'm, my point is, I mean, why don't we I, make wait, stricter wait, laws you go, you go concerning before prostitution? Why, why open up a new on. avenue? Why open a Pandora's box? Make it legalized. Before. Opening, making new regulatory processes, get into all these specifics, because you're going to have to get down to these specifics. You're going to have to get down who's running these places, how they're going to run it, how they're going to set the price, what, what actions the woman can do in that room, or the man can do in that room. Then uh, are we going to all of a sudden say, okay, now we have homosexuals doing it, whatever they want. We haven't even morally as a, as a society, we haven't even decided on homosexuality yet. And you're going to put that, make that marketable? Are you going to say, just female sex is legal, homosexual sex is out? Come on, lecture. how are you going to regulate what's in that bedroom? And how are you going to keep it in that bedroom? If it's legal, if it's legal, so like you said, black, black bootlegging with stuff. The man knows his legal service. He's going to go out and get it whether it's in the corner of the house. The woman's going to still be there, and he's going to still go and get it. He's not going to care if it's legal or not. And who's going to go around tracking every woman that's legal? Why don't you just try to get another rule, another simple rule, say, customers, you're going to jail too. You are going to get your name printed too. Instead of saying, okay, let's make it legal. Let's get another 50 laws. How are we going to regulate it? Let's say, we're going to say, how are you going to go in there? And who's going to say what the lady's doing in there? Are you going to say, one orgasm you're is $25, you're to 10 yourself. orgasms? You're to is no, seriously, seriously, in all seriousness, you're starting to repeat yourself. Your point has been made. It's not valid. Are you, you, you're saying that sex is something that should be regulated, okay? We're saying, we're saying this particular profession I'm not regulated. saying it should be regulated. I'm saying a person should have a choice to pay for it if he wants. Well, they more or less have that now. I mean, how, no, many, people, how many people actually go to jail for soliciting prostitution? Uh, people go to jail. Now, you but how many people now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. You're putting a hole in your own thing. You're saying, well, it's illegal now, and it still goes on, so we might as well just keep it illegal and, and let people still get prostitution and not let the well, government... Be, what I'm saying is... Other ways to, what to, I'm to block. Wait a minute. I, like I said once before, like people Robinson, just have... How many pimps go to jail? How block. many j Johns go to jail? But the prostitutes go to jail. You have a mental block. block. You have a mental block. You people have a mental block. You already have a police force out there. Can I make a point? Because we already have a police force who can curb it. Why not expand the law? Put the pimps in the jail. Put the Johns in there. Why don't you have a whole new regulatory system, whole new people You're repeating yourself, can I make a point? Why make it never bureaucratic on, Bridget, let me make a point. society? Wait a minute, I'm telling you, you're doing it once again. You're attaching your own moral ideas to something that I'm you have. I'm not being moral. You are being moral. Say, you can't regulate it. You can regulate it. Why not? Why can't you regulate it? What is wrong with regulating it? We're trying to help the people who are going to do it. So you might as well say, well, look, if people are going to do it, but let me, you never destroyed my arguments. Why is it isn't working in Korea? Why isn't it totally you can, you really working in Sweden? You don't have any valid facts in front of you. Neither do I. We're talking about opinions, and you're bringing in uh, inscrutable facts. See, I might not have the statistics in front of me now, but it's a known fact. It's not a known fact. Ask any, ask any soldier who's been over in Korea. You know, we're not talking about Korea. Legalized. We're talking about the United States. Well, we're talking about a government that already has. Why it does it work up. in Nevada? Why does it work in Nevada? They were, it does not work well, in Las it, Vegas. You cannot have prostitutes inside the city of Las Vegas. It works in Nevada, though. How many people live in Nevada? 
What does that have to do with anything? A lot of people visit Nevada. A lot of people may not live there. A lot of people may visit Nevada and use its facilities as sex surrogates. But the point I'm trying to make is that you are, uh, that's not a popular state or a situation okay. where. Uh, All right, okay, let me make a point. Also, uh, Bridget I got think to fill a bus for 10 minutes. Ralph nor I got to make a point. I think Fletcher, that was rude. Fletcher, let me make Why do you think they minute. don't have prostitution wait a minute. Let, in make Las a Vegas? And now, like I said, you just, you very rude. You talk for five minutes. Let someone else talk. Now, like I said before, sex is something that people are going to do. All right? If someone thinks they should get paid for it, what is it for you to say that that person shouldn't get paid for it? Now, you're talking about the ramifications, the, 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 the ripple effect. Why don't you stop the ripple effect and let what's happening go on? Now, you're saying just because you have prostitution, you have this, this, and that. That's not directly cor correlated. What are you saying? It is correlated. Where the trickle down effect? What's the trickle down effect? Give me one example. Give me one example. example. Well, let's take let's take Nevada. If it's all right to have Just prostitution, one example, that's all I wait, have. if it's all right to have prostitution, why don't they make it in the city of Las Vegas itself, where they have lots of people coming in, people who are gambling? Why don't they put prostitution and gambling in the same city? You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me the trickle down effect. Will you answer the specific question, please? Okay, the trickle down. You're giving effect. me a question, and you're answering a question with a question, please. Let's let's, let's go. Let's go to the combat zone. Okay, Just first, give me the, uh, one example, that's all I ask. I'm saying, one, okay, you have prostitutes. What kind of people usually seek the services Don't of prostitutes? Don't give me a question. That's not, no, well, okay. Uh, theoretically, uh, from the general rule or whatever, the people who sit, seek prostitutes are not generally your high upper middle class people, your people that have high status in the community. It's usually the, quote, low life, but uh, lower middle class, the quote, low life. These people go in, the prostitutes are their pimps, rob, rob the customers in some cases. Okay, that's the trickle down effect. You have people getting robbed. That's one effect, that's all I ask. You have that's all I ask. Now what you do is you don't cut off the prostitution, you cut off the, the robbing. That's, that's what I'm saying. You can't say just because you have prostitution you have robbing, you have robbing anyway. And you can't say that just because you have prostitution. Why, why put it in an in a, in a atmosphere that's susceptible, susceptible to this robbery? Okay, now the point I made before... But you, but you never did say because you don't have prostitution, you don't say. have robbery. Uh, that's not the issue here. I'm saying if you put... The issue if is the known if fact you put, that once you have prostitution, fact. you have high robbery in that area. That's, that's not a known fact. And uh, generally... Like I, before, no, wait, like I said before, Bridget, you're talking about an effect. There's all, you, you're saying that this is the cause. That is not true. It's a minor factor on a major assumption that you're making that, that other social uh, people have made. It's not true. Just because you have robbery doesn't mean it's just because you have... Uh, in a prostitution, as, as I said. What before, makes the combat zone the combat oh, zone? Wait, what, what, what makes the combat the zone the combat zone? Because you have the pornography and you have the prostitution. And because you have that, what people do you attract to that neighborhood? You attract the lower life or whatever. And what happens in that neighborhood? You have robberies, you have rapes, you have You are completely disavowed. No, I haven't. You have Explain the combat zone have, to me. Uh, you have completely it. disavowed. Explain the, the combat I'm, zone. I didn't say the prostitution should be in a situation like the combat zone. The way but how you, well, okay, so now you have do you, remember, do, you remember you the have do you remember the example I gave? It was what clearly example? of the clinic, the sex surrogate clinic, where, where it was clean, above board. I mean, come on, I didn't say it was going to be in a CD. Quote, style. okay, let's get back to Morris. Quote, in our society, the woman who sells herself, quote, what kind of morals do we think she has? Low morals. What kind of people do you think she's going to attract? Other uh, people with low morals who think she's all right for her to sell themselves. So what's wrong with that? So what do you have? It's not up to you to What happens in communities where people have low morals? That's going to attract this. If this lady doesn't have no qualms about selling herself, how do we know she's not going to try to steal from that customer? Well, first of all, you're going on the assumption that everyone who uh, buys sex is, uh, have low morals. How you can make let's an answer like, like, like that? How you make an answer like that? It's the general rule. There are exceptions, but it's the general rule. It's not the general rule. I think you use that. It's not the general rule. Well, why are, is the combat you, zone like it is? You would have been. You would have been saying. You would have been saying that I'm saying. Explain the combat zone. And our me. public administrators and so on and so on with the ones who are out here, how, why are they going to make it a law? Blah, blah, blah. Do you think those people are moral? If they're not, why are they in office? I thought we only vote for moral people. You answer me that question. But let's, you never explained the combat you zone You answer that me. question. What is the combat zone? I'm is not for the combat zone. Area? I'm going to destroy why places like the combat zone. Right? Wait. Okay, the combat zone. The combat zone has an element of seediness. Take away the what seediness. What makes it seedy? What attracts the seedy people? The place isn't kept up. The place is not a, a clean, a clean uh, uh, vessel for... Uh, we've made pornography legal. We have areas uh, where they have pornography. There's nothing wrong with pornography. Joints. Are those areas generally clean, as you put it? Why, why, why are, are we not going to say that these... Tell me why they're Wait a minute, clean. wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, because let me tell you something. You're putting dependent variables on something that should be independent. You're already assessing that. Because of this, 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 you're going to have that. It's That's a known fact. Will you let me finish? 
damn point? I can't even get a point in edgewise. I'm telling you, if you have a if you have a place that's gonna is gonna um, give such and such an atmosphere, you're gonna attract people that are gonna be you know to conducive to that atmosphere. Of course, if, this, if the combat zone is, is has you know urine smells and whatever, of course you're gonna have a low life people. Okay, put that take the art take prostitution, put it in a clean setup. Uh, whatever, like in Las, like I said, Nevada. Now, just where prostitution is practiced, there isn't the low life areas. I mean, they have people who have uh, really houses. Not, not all of it. Not all of it. The places that are kept up well attract good clients. Okay. I mean, with with government with government regulations, you can take some. You said the same thing with gambling. Take it. Gambling. I did. Huh? I did. Wait a minute. Um, the moral aspects of it. And the fourth one, it was done in back rooms or whatever. You know, people were like, oh, shying away from it, or they, you know, they wouldn't do it. But now you have prominent people going to OTB in New York and ain't on betting because it's, it, it looks, it's legal. And when it's legal, you're going to have a certain, a certain atmosphere, a certain attitude that goes about professionalism, okay? Now, we're, now we're not going to have people going to keep the place dirty and, and whatever. It's going to be professional. It's going to, it's going to be made to look professional. It's not, going to, it's not going to attract people who don't think they can afford to pay for something like that. All right. Thank you, uh, guest commentators. Now we have, we're going to take a few questions from the audience. Uh, is there anyone out there who would like to comment on the, today's issue? I'd just like to ask a question. Uh, my name is Ernest Smith, and uh, I'm just a member of the uh, audience here. And uh, my question is directed more so towards those who are against the issue of prostitution here. In that, being that it is a moral issue, the morals of this issue is in question, along with the economic status of this point, which is prostitution in that they that it is more a issue which will bring into account neighborhoods countries and so forth but also in the sense that economically it will bring revenue to those who need it most which is which is governments and so forth now in doing that how is it that taking away revenue from the government and also bringing about a more issue how is it that these two points can be discriminated against at such a time as this so you're saying if it makes money let's legalize it let's forget about the morals huh what well, um, you're making a moral issue not him i'm not I, making it moral he said moral in it he, he said, said, he said a moral issue he said it. why can't we make money off of it well i i, I like to say so um I think that um, Letcher, issue, Letcher Ely, excuse me, presents a very um, positive and you know convincing argument. But the Thank thing you. that the thing that doesn't I'm not convinced of is the fact that one, it is it is the world's oldest profession. It has never been legalized on a large scale, and obviously it smacks of it. It obviously just goes against the moral fiber of the peoples of the world since the beginning of time. Secondly, um, on something of this nature, so big, so vast, I don't think that government regulation can take away the negative, el negative aspects of what prostitution represents now. I think that many of the seedy elements that exist in the combat zone, if prostitution was legalized, would still exist and this would be the rule, and not not the exception. I think that many of the bad elements of prostitution that exist now will continue to be the rule, and not the exception. Such and if there were um, venereal disease, um, I, 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 I know, I know, I know you, I know you, I know you explained it. But what I'm saying is that you again, you again allow for such things as the exception. I just happen to feel my opinion is that these won't be exceptions, but the rule. And that many of the other bad elements, the fact that crime, the fact that drugs, the fact that the general nature and environment of areas where prostitution is rampant is terrible. And if allowed... And I stated before that if you eradicate such I know, I know what you said. You will, you will and, present and, a more conducive think, economical I think, situation. I think I said that, that if, the, if prostitution is legalized, that by and large... You can't take, you can't separate the two. I think there is a direct I correlation, and that is the, I guess that is the issue. I help it Ralph out. Letcher, pornography, 
is legalized. You can't have movies where you have X-rated movies. You could have places where women strip. They make the environment conducive for their customers to come in. But could could you elaborate? How does it? How do these neighborhoods look? Okay. Um. I think, in a way, I should have uh, clarified myself just a little bit more. So the point which which is in question right now, I shall expand upon. Okay. Many of you know who are guest commentators and so forth. I am a fourth year chemistry major here at Boston University. And a point which has come up many times in much of, in many of my classes is in the world of business, okay, because I am also somewhat interested in economics, is that in the world of business there are issues which come up such as uh, quality control, air pollution and so forth okay now these issues can be somewhat analogous to VD and so forth in that the government tries to control air pollution and so forth yet however these things continue on and yet business continues to strive now my question is even though business can be seen as an as probably an immoral thing it continues to go on now what I would like to ask is if prostitution is an immoral thing why is it that it cannot go on even though BD and other different diseases can continue on even if we shall die one day of something may it be air pollution or some form of venereal disease which shall threaten our bodies because hey in the end we're all going somewhere uh, in let, me, conjunction, let, me uh, ask, let me just uh, in conjunction with what um the audience uh, just said, uh, I agree. It, it's been proven with um, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, uh, the government regulated uh, uh, program, that they have, they've uh, deterred pollution. And it's, done, it's been done by taxing. The thing is, you're going to make it so hard, you, you, have to, you have to set high standards. By setting high standards, you're going to tax the people if they're, you know, if, if, the, if the standards aren't high, of course you're going to have uh, a bad environment. You have to set high standards, and then if they're violated, people have to pay the price, they have to pay the cost, and that's the, that's the bottom line. Well, obviously, this is something we could go on about all night, uh, but we just don't have the time for it. I want to thank all of you for coming down today, and I would like to say that this program has been pre-recorded and that the comments expressed on this program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of WTBU. Thank you all once again.